हेलो एंड वेलकम बैक टू दिस चैनल डियर स्टूडेंट्स दिस टॉपिक इज सिंगल फेज फुल वेव कंट्रोल्ड रेक्टिफायर विथ आर एल लोड इट इज ऑल्सो कॉल्ड हाईली इंडक्टिव लोड और रेजिस्टिव इंडक्टिव लोड एंड वी आर कंसिडरिंग सेंटर टैप कॉन्फिग्रेशन इन द अर्लियर वीडियो वी हैव स्टडीड द सिमिलर थिंग बट द लोड वॉज रेजिस्टिव लोड here major difference is this is resistive and inductive load that is rl load ab dekho bahut sare waveforms hai bahut sare circuit diagrams hai you don't have to mug up all such things you don't have to memorize all such things i will tell you the uh, techniques how to memorize the things how to uh, correlate the things rather so this is the circuit diagram for a uh, single phase full wave controlled rectifier it is also called full wave converter single phase full wave converter with rl load and center tap connection the diagram is similar to that of resistive load only difference is that yahan pe dekh lo yahan rl connect kiya in the earlier diagram uh, only resistive load was there so this element was only resistor here we are considering resistor and inductor this is the major change as far as the circuit diagram is concerned as far as the wave force are concerned uh, i will explain you while discussing the operation in detail now at the input side we are giving single phase ac supply this is output side is a center tap we know that this point is called center tap connection this load is rl load we are using two scrs scr1 and scr2 this is scr2 we know the regular conventions anode terminal cathode terminal and gate terminal now during the positive half cycle ab dekho ye gate pulse ka waveform hai which we have already studied in earlier videos in order to make the scr conductive that means in order to switch on the scr and start conducting you need to apply gate pulses to the gate terminal of scr so we are going to apply such pulses to the gate terminal of scr these pulses are applied at an angle alpha we know that this is called firing angle second is the waveform of input voltage this is a standard sine wave we know the readings 0 pi 2 pi 3 pi and so on we know that 0 to 2 pi up to this point this is a point corresponding to pi 0 to 2 pi we have a full cycle after that the cycle repeats now during the positive half cycle this terminal will be plus this will be minus similarly this is plus and this is minus as we discussed this is a center tap connection so due to positive terminal of the uh, secondary of transformer which is uh, applied to the anode terminal of scr1 scr1 will be in on condition whenever any scr is on it is acting as a short circuit why this negative connection is given to the anode terminal of scr2 so scr2 will be switched off we have already studied whenever any scr is switched off that means it will act as open circuit so if i am talking about positive half cycle this cycle 0 to pi then in that case scr1 will be on scr2 will be off now scr1 is on but till alpha at alpha we are applying the gate pulses that means we are providing a gate voltage voltage pulse at the gate terminal of scr1 so 0 to alpha will be the forward blocking mode of scr1 at alpha since we are applying gate pulse scr1 will be turned on it will remain turned on up to this point ab dekho what is the major difference between these waveforms and earlier waveforms what we have studied for only resistive load see this is inductive load also that means it contain contains inductor as a part of load we know the important property of inductor which we have already studied while discussing uh, half wave control rectifier with rl load yaad uh, recall kar lo yaad rakh lo ye concept inductor is a storing device so whenever this scr wall scr1 was in conduction mode at that time the current i was flowing like this so this is plus this is minus and accordingly output voltage was developed across this load whenever this was happening inductor was storing the energy a pi ke baad negative half cycle starts so during negative half cycle 
द कनेक्शन विल बी लाइक दिस यहाँ पे निगेटिव आएगा ये पॉजिटिव ये निगेटिव आ जाएगा ये पॉजिटिव आ जाएगा सो ड्यू टू दिस वेन एवर आफ्टर पाई निगेटिव ऑफ साइकिल स्टार्ट एस आर वन शुड बी आइडियली स्विच ऑफ बट इंडक्टर हैज टूअर्ड एनर्जी अर्लियर सो अप टू सर्टन टाइम पीरियड जैसे इस वेव फॉर्म में देखा है ये यह यहां से यहां तक ये यह वेव फॉर्म दिस वॉज सेम एज दट ऑफ आर लोड ओनली रेजिस्ट टू लोड पाई के बाद फॉर सम वैल्यू दैट इज फॉर पाई प्लस अल्फा मतलब पाई के बाद अल्फा एंगल तक अल्फा फायरिंग एंगल तक द कंडक्शन विल कंटिन्यू वाई बिकॉज इंडक्टर हैज स्टोर्ड एनर्जी वेन एवर निगेटिव हाफ साइकिल स्टार्ट दिस स्टोर्ड एनर्जी विल बी रिटर्न बैक टू द सोर्स बाय दिस इंडक्टर एंड द कंडक्शन कंटिन्यूज अप टू सर्टन टाइम पीरियड सो फ्रॉम अल्फा फ्रॉम पाई टू पाई प्लस अल्फा एस सी आर वन विल स्टार्ट कंडक्टिंग यही मेजर डिफरेंस है एज कंपेयर टू द अर्लियर वेव फॉर्म फॉर रेजिस्टिव लोड तो याद कैसे रखना है आर एल लोड मतलब कंडक्शन कंटिन्यू रहता है अप टू सर्टन पीरियड दैट इज फ्रॉम पाई टू पाई प्लस अल्फा अदरवाइज एग्जैक्ट एवरी वेव फॉर्म इज से नाउ ड्यूरिंग द दिस हैपन्स अप टू पाई प्लस अल्फा एट पाई प्लस अल्फा आइडियली इंडक्टर विल रिटर्न ऑल द एनर्जी विच वॉज स्टोर्ड बाई इट so whenever all the energy is returned this scr will be turned off so at this point at pi plus alpha scr1 will be switched off turned off now during negative half cycle polarities are as shown in this figure so negative is applied to scr1 i mean anode terminal of scr1 and positive is applied to anode terminal of scr2 so scr1 will be off and scr2 will be on that means scr2 will start conducting like we discussed in earlier case i mean what we discussed in for, for scr1 scr2 will be also in forward blocking mode till we apply the gate pulse to yahan pe dekh lo this scr2 is on after pi plus alpha matlab immediately pi pe scr2 on nahi hota hai पाई टू पाई प्लस अल्फा के लिए एस सी आर वन कंडक्शन करता है एंड एट पाई प्लस अल्फा वेन वी हैव अप्लाइड द गेट पल्स देन एस सी आर टू स्टार्ट कंडक्टिंग अगेन दिस इज ए इंडक्टिव लोड रीजन वी ऑलरेडी डिस्कस्ड सो ड्यू टू स्टोर एनर्जी बाय द इंडक्टर दिस कंडक्शन कंटिन्यूज टिल टू पाई प्लस अल्फा एंड लाइक वाइज द साइकिल रिपीट सो एक्सैक्टली द वेब फॉर्म्स आर सेम अप टू दिस पॉइंट एज दट ऑफ आर एल लोड ओनली डिफरेंस इज दैट याद कैसे रखना है सिर्फ इतना डिफरेंस है यहां पाई तक ही कंडक्शन था पहले वाले केस में यहां कंडक्शन इंक्रीज होता है एक्सटेंड होता है बाई सम अमाउंट अल्फा दिस इज द करंट वेब फॉर्म लाइक द वोल्टेज वेब फॉर्म करंट वेब फॉर्म कंटिन्यूस एंड दिस इज फुल वेव कंट्रोल रेक्टिफायर बिकॉज फॉर पॉजिटिव एज वेल एज निगेटिव हाफ साइकिल Uh, you are getting the output voltage and in both cases the output current जैसे यहाँ negative half cycle में भी देखो ये positive है ये negative है so current will flow through the load like this again in the same direction so irrespective of whether uh, it is positive half cycle or negative half cycle you are getting some output voltage continuously across the load so this is called full wave control rectifier and it is a center tap connection because we are using a center tap transformer no performance of this circuit one important thing this is also called full wave converter with rl load and center tap connection it is abbreviated as fwcr so it is also called full wave control rectifier with rl load and center tap connection one more name is there this is also called M2 connection because we are using center tap transformer, so it is also called uh, midpoint or M2 connection. All right. Now let us discuss the analysis. First term, first calculation is average output voltage or DC output voltage. We are making use of the standard formula. Formula is one by pi integration V in d theta. Now one important change. We have already derived such equations in the earlier uh, video for. आर लोड दैट इज फॉर रेजिस्टिव लोड याद कैसे रखना है रेजिस्टिव लोड के लिए कंडक्शन वॉज फ्रॉम अल्फा टू पाई इन दिस केस वी डिस्कस्ड वाइल स्टडिंग द वे फॉर कंडक्शन ऑफ एस सी आर फॉर वन साइकिल आई मीन फॉर एस सी आर वन इट वॉज फ्रॉम 
alpha to pi plus alpha. So limits of integration are alpha to pi plus alpha v in d theta. Now we have a standard formula of v in that is v m sine theta. So put the values. Therefore, I can write v zero as one by pi integration alpha to pi plus alpha in place of v. I am putting this value v m sine theta d theta. V m is constant. Can be taken outside the integration. So same equation can be written as v m upon pi integration alpha to pi plus alpha. Sin theta d theta. I have written standard formula uh, for this derivation. So integration of sin theta is minus cos theta. Let us make use of this identity. So it becomes v m upon pi integration is minus cos theta. Limits are alpha to pi plus alpha. This can be written as v m upon pi. We know the regular procedure in place of theta. We have to put the limits. First, we'll put upper limit that is pi plus alpha. So it becomes minus cos of pi plus alpha. In place of theta, I have put upper limit. Now minus you have to put lower limit, but already minus sign is there. So minus minus become plus. And if you put lower limit, that means we have to put alpha in place of theta. So it becomes cos alpha. For this first term, we have to make use of one more identity. Cos plus uh, pi plus alpha is minus cos alpha. Already there is a minus sign, so minus minus become plus. So this equation becomes v zero is equals to v m upon pi in the bracket cos alpha c. Cos of pi plus alpha is minus cos alpha minus. And this minus become plus, so it becomes cos alpha. Second term remains as it is, that is cos alpha. Last step, these two terms are same, so we can write this equation as two v m cos alpha upon pi. Actually, it is v m upon pi into two cos alpha. I have taken two outside, so it becomes two v m cos alpha upon pi. This is the equation of average or DC output voltage. The second parameter is RMS output voltage, which is V RMS. This is the standard formula to calculate RMS voltage. RMS is root mean square. So it is one by pi integration alpha to pi plus alpha V in uh, input voltage square d theta bracket raised to one half because it is root mean square. Instead of this bracket raised to one half, you can well write square root sign. Up. याद कैसे रखना है? Major difference compared to the resistive load. If it is resistive load, we know that we took the limits from alpha to pi. In this case, since conduction is till pi plus alpha, we are supposed to take upper limit pi plus alpha. That is the only change. Now let us put the value of V in. We know that V in V in is V m sine theta. So put this value. So equation of V R M S can be written as one by pi integration alpha to pi plus alpha in place of V in. I'm putting V M sine theta, and we have to take square because it is V in square. So it becomes V M square sine square theta d theta bracket raised to one half. Now we have to make use of standard identities to solve this integration. Before that, v m square is constant, so it can be taken outside the integration. So in this stage, I will change it. Here, I will write v m square inside the integration. We have sine square theta d theta. Now I have written the formula. This is the standard identity. Sine square theta is one minus cos two theta upon two. Let us put this value. So next equation can be written as v m square upon pi. Integration alpha to pi plus alpha, and it is one minus cos two theta upon two. This bracket raised to one half. Again, this two is constant. It can be taken outside the integration. So I will write new equation as. यहाँ पे मैं two adjust करता हूँ. This is v m square upon two pi. So I have taken this two outside the integration sign. Now consider the term separately. For this term, first term one integration is this is 
theta because variable of integration is d theta over here so it is 1 d theta integration of d theta is theta and limits are alpha to pi plus alpha so if you put the values it becomes pi plus alpha minus alpha so this answer is pi so this is answer of integration of first term which is pi now for the second term we have the formula integration of cos theta is sin theta so for second term this integration is sin 2 theta upon 2 because integration of cos is sin but we have cos 2 theta so its integration is sin 2 theta upon 2 and limits are alpha 2 pi plus alpha so if you put the values then it becomes sin of 2 pi plus 2 alpha in place of theta I am putting this value pi plus alpha into 2 so it becomes 2 pi into uh, plus 2 alpha minus lower limit sin 2 alpha Deekho, theta ke badle ne sirf value put kar this 2 remains as it is divided by 2 this is the value which we got after putting upper and lower limit now we have to make use of one more standard formula sin of 2 pi plus any angle say sin of 2 pi plus phi is same as sin phi so this equation can be written as sin 2 alpha minus sin 2 alpha upon 2 but this becomes 0 0 upon 2 is 0 so this term is vanished so only answer after performing integration only remaining answer is answer of integration of first term that is pi because integration of second term is 0 so this can be written as vm square upon 2 pi and this answer is pi and we have bracket raised to 1 by 2 so pi pi gets cancelled so this same equation can be written as vm upon root 2 last step is pretty simple this bracket is we have uh, power of bracket is 1 half that means as if you are taking the square root so square root of vm square is vm and in the denominator we have 2 so it becomes root 2 so rms value or rms output voltage is vm upon root 2 this is about the performance or analysis of uh, FWCR full wave control rectifier with RL load and center tap connection. So that's it for today's session. So thank you. Thanks a lot for watching this video.